Ben told me that the, uh, the new Evolution Pilot was going to be an easy install. I had a Fluxgate compass prior to, now I've got the new um, the EV sensor. So much, much less temperamental. Um, you can put it anywhere on the craft, forward, aft, upside down even. Um, less affected by metal objects and magnetic interference around the vessel and on the vessel. So genuinely a very, very easy installation. Sea starts a breakdown service and uh, a lot of the times we have to go up alongside boats and we're, we're out here alone. So the evolution is like an extra pair of hands. Uh, since I've had it, it's made our lives a lot easier. Um, for instance, uh, the installation was really simple. It took probably less than an hour to fit. We use it an awful lot. Uh, obviously, when we get our members calling for assistance, they can give us a latch, latitude and longitude or a, a rough position. We can put it in on the chart plotter, select the autopilot and it will take us directly to them. The EVO unit went straight in place of the flux gate with a single cable going into the uh, CTOG NG bus. A simple dockside uh, check up to make sure that the autopilot knew what kind of a boat it was going to be driving and uh, the various settings required for that, that it's a sailboat, etc. The clever thing with the, um, the new EV sensor um, that replaces the traditional Fluxgate compass is that it's not actually a compass at all. Um, it's a really clever nine axis sensor. Evolution requires no complicated compass calibration. It's a very simple setup with Dockside Wizard, very, very few simple steps, yeah. interface through the P7TR, the control head, then a very simple, quick spin up in clear water. It's really easy to uh, change the settings on it. Uh, you can change the response level and you, you, know, you can choose which one you would prefer. The three performance modes are um, leisure for uh, relaxed, fairly smooth, less aggressive course keeping. Uh, cruising, the skipper's choice, uh, gives a nice comfortable, a comfortable ride as well as um, pretty sharp course keeping or performance for racing and ultra sharp course keeping. As the tide started to flood up channel we had wind across tide and I had to increase the response level from leisure where I had put it to cruising but even at that standard level, it uh, responded perfectly, kept the boat well on course despite the boat being thrown around by the cross seas. Um, at the moment we've got it in the auto setting, uh, we're following a path down through um, an estuary so I can make corrections and, and adjustments to the course simply by turning the control knob on here. Uh, and that's going to save us fuel because it's a direct course to it. With Evolution, this new autopilot, I have every confidence that it will hold an accurate course to whatever mode we are sailing in, whether it is uh, wind vane, uh, auto, or following a route, or going even to a waypoint. I've had previous autopilots, and they've been good, but this is by far and away the best.